Dr. Shaw, if I could uh, please ask you about the president's age. He's 79 years old. What level of concerns does that add uh, when someone like him tests positive? Um, very simply, uh, I would begin with what's his immune status and what and the and what are his access to treatments. And the bottom line is, given how much immunity he has from vaccines, given that he was started on treatments right away, like literally at symptoms this morning, got started on Paxlovid this morning. Um, I think his all of those things very dramatically reduce his risk of serious illness. And that's really the goal here, is to, is to prevent serious illness, to keep that risk as low as possible. Um, I think he's gotten that full set of protections. And in terms of monitoring his oxygen, is that something that will be done hourly, something that will be done a couple times a day? Just walk us through if you could, uh, the oxygen levels and the concern that could raise. Yeah. Um, I don't actually know how often. What I will say is that he's, he's uh, monitored very regularly. He's feeling well. Uh, his oxygen level was checked this morning. It was normal. Um, and the, the exact sort of frequency of that is a decision between him and his physician and, and really Dr. O'Connor making that call. You, you said it doesn't matter where he got it, but how can it not matter where he got it if that is something that, of course, is involved in contact tracing? This administration has taken it very seriously. How can it not matter? I think where what, he I, got what, it? I, what I was trying to say is what's important now is that he has mild symptoms. Uh, is that he is working from from the residents on, on behalf of the American people. That's our focus. Look, we knew this was going to happen. As Dr. Jha said, uh, you know, when he was when he joined me at the briefing uh, in the briefing room uh, not too long ago, he said, "This is this is uh, you know, everyone was at some point everyone's going to get COVID. What is important is to make sure that you have you get the treatment uh, that is that we have provided for folks. Uh, whether it's uh, get make sure you get vaccinated, make sure you get boosted, uh, and uh, and then we have Paxlovid that is made available because of this president. So what I'm trying to say is the moment that we're in right now is what matters uh, as we're talking about uh, the president uh, and and uh, and his treatment and how he's feeling uh, and how he's continuing to work on behalf of the American public. I'm going to move around because I know there's a lot of it. Olin, go ahead. Thank you. I, 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 Kareem, you said that he was feeling fine yesterday during his speech, but that he started to feel tired later on in the evening. I just want to clarify, can you say exactly when he started feeling mild symptoms? I, I cannot say uh, exactly when, when that occurred. Occurred. Um, I could say that uh, uh, that um, you know he told us this morning he had a nose uh, a, no, a runny nose he had a dry cough um, he was a little bit fatigued uh, he did say he had restless sleep uh, and when that occurred uh, and he he got the antigen test tested uh, tested positive and then was given a PCR test I, I cannot pinpoint uh, the exact moment uh, and you know we were transparent uh, I got the letter from uh, we put out a statement as soon as uh, we we uh, did the test and were able to uh, put out the information so we were transparent in giving out the statement we were transparent in sending out the letter uh, and uh, we will have daily updates from his doctor uh, on uh, on his status in terms of the search for close contacts I understand that's underway now but I, there should still be able to be some confirmation of at least some individuals who are in close contact he was with multiple members yesterday on Air Force One. Uh, he was with the First Lady of Ukraine as well on Tuesday. Um, you know, was, can you tell us if the Vice President is a close contact, if those members that were on the plane are considered close contacts? Yes. Uh, so when it comes to the Vice President, she spoke to this earlier today. She just uh, gave comments and she spoke with the, pres uh, the President. I will let her uh, speak to that. You heard from the First Lady. Of course, she's the First Lady. And so she spoke, she, spoke, uh, she said she tested negative and clearly uh, she is uh, a, a close contact. Look, um, you know, uh, I'll say this. Um, our commitment since last July is to disclose when the president or one of the four principals is a close contact of staff who tested positive as defined by the CDC. This is a definition uh, by the CDC or when he tests positive, which is what we're doing to all of our review today. Uh, so, for example, we ch were transparent with the vice president. We were trans when she tested positive, when the second gentleman uh, tested positive, and we're being we're doing that currently right now with him. So we are transparent when the 
the President Biden was a close contact of a staff member, as I mentioned, in December. Uh, and But for privacy reasons, uh, we will not get into more details as it relates uh, to that. Uh, so we're starting the process. Uh, I don't have a number, a list of folks to, to share with you. I think that if I know some of your colleagues traveled with us, if there are any concerns or questions, feel free to reach out to us. Uh, we're happy to, uh, if, if you have personal questions about yourself, uh, feel free to reach out. I have one more. Just Ashley asked as well, I think, about um, moving forward uh, the five-day quarantine, whether or not he would immediately resume. I believe you said that uh, he would quarantine for five days and then he would resume when he tests negative. But I just want the connective tissue here. If he tests negative on that fifth day, would he resume his schedule as normal? Yeah, so the CDC's uh, guidance on this is very clear. You have to isolate for five days. Um, CDC says that you can resume after five days without a negative test, as long as you wear a well-fitting mask. Um, we go above and beyond that at the White House, and we, uh, the president will get tested. And as long as he's isolated for five days, meeting the kind of CDC requirement, um, we will wait until he gets a negative test, negative antigen test, before he returns uh, to activity.